Let's take a look at our new daily trainer, the Endelapatet. So a daily trainer is a shoe that's designed for your easy runs, your recovery runs, and your long weekend runs. For those runs where you're trying to just build up your total mileage and also focus on building your mitochondrial fat metabolism. So for a run like that, you want a shoe that is focused on comfort and support. Here's how the Lapatet does that. So starting from the ground up, we gave it a full rubber outsole to give you good grip across a range of surfaces so you're not sliding around late in your runs or if you hit a little patch of dirt. Uh, and also it should give it good durability. The shoe should last for many hundreds of kilometers of use. But really where the magic happens is in the midsole. So under your midfoot and your forefoot, you have a 53 durometer high rebound EVA and under the heel and under the toe cap, you have a 57 durometer high abrasion EVA. What that means is it's slightly firmer under the heel and really nice and fun and bouncy under the midfoot. So as you're coming in for a natural midfoot or forefoot strike, you're setting down into that softer, bouncier foam. Then as your heel comes down through your gait, you're setting onto the slightly firmer stuff, giving you a little bit of support there. And then you're towing off, off the firm EVA up front. So really, truly rewarding a natural midfoot strike and keeping you comfortable through the whole length of your run. The La Patette has a six millimeter heel to toe drop, which is about half of what you see in most daily trainers. So again, something that's really built to work with a natural midfoot strike. The upper is what's holding all of that amazing foam onto your foot. It's a technical knit upper with underlying structural supports to give you really good lockdown across the midfoot but also still give you plenty of room and a little bit of flex through the toe box area. So nice and comfortable, really breathable, and just super sock-like fit. It's just fantastic. The La Patette weighs 9.2 ounces in a men's size nine, or a women's 10 and a half, which means that it's a bit lighter than pretty much any other daily trainer out there on the market. And that's important. Every time you pick up your foot, you're lifting the weight of the shoe. And over a long run, that can really add up, almost become an, an endurance event in and of itself. So we've focused on making sure the La Patette is really the lightest shoe in its class. While the La Patette is a great technical product, it's also a great cultural product. We essentially added subtle hints that tell the story of Kenya and Kenya's running culture and shares it with runners around the world. First off is the name La Patette. Kenya is a diverse country with more than 40 local languages and La Patette is, is a Kalenjin word that means run. Secondly, if you look at the pattern on the upper, you'll realize that it has a wave-like pattern. The reason why we put the waves is that when we were studying the different landscapes of Kenya, for example, the ocean, the clouds, the savanna, when the wind passes through it, you'll notice that waves are essentially a significant feature of these elements, which is why we decided to put the waves on the upper. Third, on the upper eyelets, you'll notice the colors are black, red, and green. These are inspiration from Kenya's national flag. On the tongue of the shoe and also on the pull tabs are two different kinds of fabric. One is the kikoi fabric, which is hand woven, and this floral design is borrowed from the kitenge fabric. Both fabrics feature in much of day-to-day -day life in Kenya, whether you're tying it around your waist, making a headscarf, or simply putting a baby on the back. These fabrics really tell the story of Kenya's culture. Um, if you look at the bottom of the heel, you'll see the word Harambe. Harambe is Kenya's national motto and it essentially means we all pull together. It refers to situations when people or an individual cannot achieve something in person and they call the community around them to achieve it, just as much as we are coming to the Kickstarter to achieve this. So Harambe means we all pull together and since Enda is a company that was born through Kickstarter, it's the one thing that really creates their company's philosophy and we want to communicate with runners around the world. Um, last but not least, at the back of the sole, there's essentially a groove running from top to bottom. In this groove is a um, topographical map of the Great Rift Valley. So Kenya is known globally as the hotbed of athletic greatness, but within Kenya, that hotbed is the Great Rift Valley, which is why we wanted to pay ode to it and recognize its importance in giving a profound climate that has enabled us to produce the best athletes in the world. So essentially, those are the cultural elements of the La Patette. We are proud to be sharing Kenya's history and culture with runners around the world, and we cannot wait to get you in them.